Learning the eight carpal bones in order is definitely a task. But today I have a short story that will help memorize the eight carpal bones easily. The story is in the setting of a beach wherein there's cold wind blowing and there's a beautiful moon that is visible in the sky. Now there's a lady and her scarf flew in the sky. While running to catch her scarf, she saw a beautiful lunate shaped moon in the sky. She continued to run and to try and catch the scarf. Suddenly a pussy cat came in front of her. She felt trapped because she couldn't go ahead because the pussy suddenly jumped in front of her. She lost sight of the scarf and was left void. Now the next part of the story is the next day wherein it's a bright sunny day. It's really hot and this girl wants to eat hamburgers which is five blocks down the road. So she decides to go out but realizes that she's lost her scarf and she needs something to protect herself from the scorching heat. So therefore decides to wear a cap. So the lady goes out wearing a cap and buys herself some hamburgers. Now what does the story signify and how is it associated with the carpal bones? So I'll be highlighting some aspects of these stories which are essential for us to memorize the eight carpal bones in order. So first we have the scarf. Next we have the lunate shaped moon. Next we have she's trying to run and catch the scarf. Next we have this pussycat. Next we see that she's trapped. She's left void. She decides to wear a cap since she's lost her scarf. Goes to buy hamburgers. So I'll number them in order. The scarf. The lunate. She's trying. The pussy. She's trapped. She's left void. She's with a cap now. She's gone to buy hamburgers. So one is scarf, which is scaphoid. Two, lunate, which is lunate itself. Three, is she's trying to catch the scarf, so it's tri, which is triquitral. Fourth one is the pussy, which is nothing but which is nothing but pussy form. So these four are our proximal row. Next we have the fifth one, which is she's trapped. So trap, which is trapezium. Six, she's lost sight of her scarf and she is left null and void. Void, which rhymes with trapezoid. So we know that trapezium comes first and trapezoid, rhyming with void, comes second. So trapezoid. So cap is capitate. And finally, Hamburger, which is Hamate. So these are the bones of the distal row. So this is the proximal row. And this is the distal row. So we have scaphoid, lunate, triquitral, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. That's all for today. Hope this trick helped. Thank you.